Namaste, yogis. Welcome to Aloe Yoga's flagship Beverly Hills store. I'm Andrew Seely, and I'm going to guide you through an energizing beginner's yoga flow. Hop on your mat and let's get in. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. And like and comment below to let us know what you think. Take a deep inhale. Hands meet or reach up to the sky. As you exhale, draw your left hand down and your right hand up and over. You can either bring your elbow down to the mat or you can keep the arm nice and long for support depending upon how long you wish to lengthen over. Whatever you do, keep your right hip grounded as you reach up and over, lengthening through the side body. Deep inhales, deep exhales here. Go ahead and make a fist and round the wrists so often that we find ourselves at desks typing or on our phones texting. So we want to use this opportunity to really open up the forearm. Go ahead and alternate the rotation. Awesome. Bring the hand back to a full open position as you inhale all the way back up to center. Lengthen up. Deep inhale as you exhale. Right hand reaches down, left hand reaches up and over. Again, you can drop the elbow. Just make sure that that hip is grounded down. Draw yourself into the earth as you reach the hand up and over. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales here. Draw the hand to a fist, big circles. Opening up the forearms, just getting out those little kinks. Alternate the rotation here. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales. Reach back out, open up the palm, inhale back to center, lengthen up, go up. As you exhale, reach forward, allowing the lower spine to cascade over the hips. Relax your head, your neck. Even if you find yourself right here, I want you to find that the chest reaches forward, lengthening forward as you open the collarbones and allow yourself to move forward. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales as you really relax the lower back, allowing your breath to bring you to a space of flow. Inhaling deep, exhaling deep. Three more deep breaths right here. Gently releasing into the hips. And allowing the mind to calm. Inhale brings you back to center. We'll go ahead and bring both hands to the left side of our mat. Allowing the body to reach over. Again, stretching through the side body. Thinking of drawing the shoulders square as you reach over. And perhaps you can bring that right hand on top of the left hand to go a little bit deeper in the stretch. Remembering to ground your sit bones down making sure that your hips are nice and flush to your mat, allowing the lengthening to happen through that right side of your rib cage. Nice deep inhale brings you back to center. We'll go ahead and round on to the right. Deep inhale, lengthening up, reaching, and then relaxing allowing those hips to ground into your mat, allowing your head to be heavy and your body to cascade over your hips. Deep inhale and perhaps you can bring that left hand on top of the right as you extend a little bit deeper into the side body. 
And wherever you are in your practice, just know that your breath is the number one priority. One more deep inhale, lengthening through the side body, and then grounding through your hips as you exhale. Draw yourself back to center. Nice deep inhale, bring the hands up to the sky, open up your lungs, exhale, hands at heart center. Go ahead and unfold your legs, coming into tabletop pose. Hands directly underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips. We're gonna keep the toes tucked for today to allow you to have nice stability through your feet and we'll open up the soles of your feet as we really allow the spine to lengthen. So as you can see with my spine, I'm really pressing my hips back while at the same time allowing my heart to move forward. So opening and broadening the collarbones, I look forward, glance forward with a deep inhale here. I'll exhale, pressing my right foot to the back of the mat. Keeping the toes tucked, keeping a nice straight leg, allowing the right leg to flex as I inhale, heel goes up towards the sky. Awesome, find that length. Keep the drawing in of your abdominals so we can keep a nice long spine. Exhale, knee comes to right elbow. Extend for five, four, three, two, and one. Use your breath. Keep the leg extending towards the back of your mat. Take a nice deep inhale here. Now as you exhale, externally rotate. So that just means open up your leg, allow the back foot to almost like karate kick the back of your mat, and then draw the knee up and out for five. Use your breath for four, for three, for two, and one. Exhale, draw that right knee back to your mat. Now to offset that, we're just gonna do a few cat cows, inhaling the chest forward, exhaling, drawing the navel in, Five, using your breath, deep inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, three, two, one. Coming back to a neutral spine here, we extend the left leg to the back of the mat. So we get to do everything on both sides. Nice deep inhale. As you exhale, draw that heel to the sky, keeping a flex in your quadricep, allowing your left leg to be nice and straight, nice and long, while at the same time drawing in that navel, spine long, all the way from the heel to the crown of your head, you find length. Exhale, draw that knee in for five, four, three, two, and one. Extend fully. Find that external rotation while still keeping the hips nice and tight. As you exhale here, same thing, onto the outside opening up the adductors, the lower back, warming up the legs. Two and one. Drawing the knee back in. Now go ahead and lift the knees up, bring them to the width of your mat, untuck your toes and allow the hips to rest back. Wide child's pose. We'll be swiveling from the right to the left and then up down and back, then up, just drawing some movement into the hips, allowing the breath to do the work for you here. As you really open the chest, then the hips, 
open the chest, then the hips, allowing your breath to guide your movement. One more on each side. Nice. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, knees back underneath your hips, and we'll press into the feet, bringing ourselves to our first down dog position. Take your time. See that you allow your hips to move up as your chest relax down. Engage those arms, really press into your mat, almost as if you're gripping the ground. Feel your knuckles ground down, and then gently sink your heels towards your mat. Oftentimes, oftentimes, just as I was a beginner, you feel that your heels can't touch your mat. So that's completely fine. We all got to start somewhere. If your heels can touch the mat, lift the hips up and back and find length through your arms. Whatever you do, make sure you focus on your breath. Deep inhales, deep exhales here. So you really relax into this. The down dog position is your pit stop. It's the place where you can check into your body, use your breath, and really find the stability while at the same time lifting up through the limbs. Nice deep inhales into the chest, widening the collarbones, rounding the triceps down towards your mat. Now as you exhale, gently walk the feet to the top of your mat. You'll come up to bent knees, your fingertips can come onto your mat. Allow the hamstrings to relax here. We'll lift the chest and bend the knees generously so that you can feel your upper body meet your lower body. Now as you exhale, begin to straighten the legs to the capacity that feels good for you, while at the same time keeping the trunk, your upper body, on your legs the lower body. Relax your head, allow your breath to move into the space of your hamstrings as you begin to lean your weight forward into the balls of your feet. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales as you slowly, gently press the legs to as straight as possible for you today. No judgment, no worries. Every single day that we come to our mat, we practice that sense of compassion giving yourself the time of day, relaxing, and knowing that where you are today is not where you'll be tomorrow or where you were the day before. Being present right here, right now. Two more breaths. Nice deep inhale. Gently draw the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, Press the arms to as straight as possible, and again, forward fold. Go to the extent that feels good for you, not beyond. Breathe here for three, for two, and for one. Gently draw the hands to the hips as you inhale up, bending the knees. Reach up, breathe up, lengthen up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Ah, now that you're standing, shake it out. Ah, you're up on your feet, you're feeling good. There we go. Nice, bring your feet together at the top of your mat in mountain pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. You can bend your knees again. As you bring your palms onto your mat, step back into plank pose. Nice deep inhale, lengthening the chest forward, the heart forward. As you exhale, draw the knees down to your mat and lower all the way to Chaturanga. Awesome, allow your belly and hips to come onto the mat as we interlace the hands behind the back. Deep inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the heart. Breathe up, lengthen up. Go to the extent that feels good for you. Nice, tuck the chin towards the chest and bring the hands close to your shoulders, drawing the elbows back towards your rib cage. Inhale, up, Cobra Pose. Nice deep inhale here, lengthen your spine. 
exhale down. Go ahead and tuck your toes, keep your knees on the ground, and we'll come back to your plank pose. Nice, lower hips up and back, down dog. Relax your head here, take a nice deep inhale, look in between your hands, and step the right foot through. Nice. Find that the knee is over your ankle. We'll go ahead and drop your back knee down. As we inhale, hands reach up. Nice. Deep inhales, deep exhales here, keeping the toes tucked, finding the alignment of the hips. We want to move the hips forward so that the knee can stack over the ankle. If that means wiggling the foot back a little bit, go ahead and do so. Inhale, lift up, breathe up, lengthen up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice. Really solidify your core here. As you feel your breath, we'll twist. Left elbow, right knee. Lifting the chest, allowing the rib cage to open. Take three deep breaths right here. Nice deep inhale. As you exhale, solidify your core and do your best to come back to center as gracefully as you came in. Hands reach up to the sky. As you exhale, the hands down to frame your foot will step the right foot back. Nice. Go ahead and lower down. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Pedal out your feet, come back to your pit stop. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, look in between your hands and step the left foot through. Awesome. Use your fingertips here to lift the chest as much as possible. As you exhale, drop the back knee. Keep those toes tucked. Inhale, hands reach up. Lengthen up, breathe up. Open the windows of your lungs. Exhale, hands come to heart center. For three breaths, we'll twist from your abdominals, then touch right elbow to left knee as you open up, lengthening the spine, allowing the spine to twist and your body to lengthen. As in your exhale here, go ahead and draw yourself back to center with your inhale, lifting the hands up, exhale, hands frame out your foot, go ahead and lift the back knee, step the back foot back, plank pose, lower those knees down, chaturanga, inhaling to your cobra, perhaps your up dog, then back to your down dog. We'll take three deep breaths here, allowing those heels to sink towards your mat as the hips lift up and back. Utilize your breath to bring you to a space of just enough effort to feel this posture. Look in between your hands Step the feet forward, put a gentle bend in the knees as you relax your arms. Go ahead and inhale all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center, mountain pose. Find yourself back at center here. We'll go ahead and move through our second flow. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, forward fold to the extent that feels good for you. Inhale up halfway, plant the hands. You can step, hop, or jump back, finding yourself in plank pose, lowering down, chaturanga. Inhaling up to your up dog, exhaling down to your down dog. Nice deep inhale here. As the right leg reaches up to the sky, we'll exhale, drawing the knee towards the elbow as we shift forward. Inhale, up and back, lengthen. Knee comes to nose, you can give your knee a kiss. Ah, that's my body. 
Inhale, up and back, lengthen. Exhale, across, tap to the left arm. Inhale, up and back, lengthen. Now we'll step the foot through. Standing into our power, back heel is over the toes. As I lift my chest forward, I find that my right knee stacks over the ankle. Inhaling up, up, up to crescent pose. Nice deep inhale here. We'll stay for three deep breaths, reaching up, breathing up, lengthening up. As we really sit into the hips, drawing the chest back, extending for two. And one, exhale, hands come down to the mat. Create space as you step the foot back, lowering down, chaturanga. Inhaling up to your up dog. Exhaling back down to your down dog. Three deep breaths bring you back to center here in your down dog pose. Finding that composure right here, right now. Nice deep inhale, left leg reaches up. As you exhale, knee comes to left elbow. Inhale, up and back lengthen. Knee comes to your nose. Inhale, up and back lengthen. Knee goes across the body. Find that length in the spine. Inhale, up and back. And through we go. So you can come up onto your fingertips if your foot happens to land back here. You can wiggle it forward, it's all good. It's not perfection, it's how it feels. So you inhale up to your crescent pose, stand in your power, smile, you're here right now, breathing into your body, practicing with me. Deep inhales, deep exhales, reaching up, going up, lengthening up, while still staying grounded through your body. Two more breaths. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. Go ahead and step it on back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up to your up dog. Exhale, down to your down dog. Nice and warm now. Feeling good in your body. Go ahead and drop your knees down to your mat. Awesome, shift into a tabletop position. We'll step the right foot through. Awesome, lift your chest. Draw the shoulders onto your back body. Look forward, glance forward, and then shift the hips back, straightening the right leg, drawing the toes back towards the shin. We're opening up your hamstring. <laughs> nice deep inhales as you exhale. We're gonna shift side to side, really feeling those bones, the muscles, the ligaments and tendons that connect our body together. Three more swivels side to side. If you feel that your knee is a little uncomfortable, you could put a little pillow under it, you could put a towel under it, whatever works best for you. Inhale back to center. As you exhale, fold in for two more breaths. Inhale, step back into your right foot. As you exhale, step right foot back. Nice, left foot comes through. Lengthen the chest, find space here in your upper body. As you exhale, shift the hips back, drawing the toes towards your shin. You might get a snap, a crackle, or a pop. It happens. Deep inhale, lengthen forward. As you exhale, swivel side to side. We're bringing movement and motion into the ligaments, the joints, the tendons, all of the connective tissue that helps to bring our body together. Awesome, last breath here. Bring yourself back to center, lift the chest, reach forward, then bow in. Relaxing your head, allowing your neck to release here. 
just folding into yourself, allowing your breath to be long and your stance to be strong. Nice deep inhale, back to center. Step back into your left foot. Awesome. And left foot reaches back. Notice that I'm on my fingertips here. This will help you gain a little bit more space. As you exhale, release the palms down to your mat. Right hand reaches up, lengthen. Then we're going to thread our needle. Allow the right shoulder to rest on your mat. Perhaps your right ear rests on your mat. Maybe you reach the left hand forward, lengthening out. If this feels simple for you, you could even bring your left hand to your right hip crease, allowing a little bit more twist here as you relax into your spine, allowing the shoulders to release, breathing in deeply, exhaling out fully. For three more breaths. Gently release the grip. Go ahead and place that left hand down as you press yourself back up. Nice. Make sure that the hands are back under your shoulders. We'll do a few cat cows here. Just one and two. Bring yourself back to center. At that tabletop position, left hand reaches up, breathe up. Exhale, thread that needle. So you can bring that right hand forward, really reaching through the side body. Or you, if you feel nice and balanced here, you can allow the right hand to go all the way to your left hip crease, drawing the shoulder onto the back body, finding a deeper stretch as you really release and relax your ear and shoulder into your mat. Gently release, draw your right hand back to your mat so you push yourself up. Awesome. We'll come into child's pose, bringing the heels together, knees nice and wide. Relax into it. Draw your head to your mat, neck nice and long. Allow your hips to shift towards your heels. We've got three more breaths right here. Gently inhale up. Bring both legs forward. And you'll go ahead and sit on your bottom. Draw the heels in. Clasp your hands around your feet. Lift your chest. Nice big opening here. Allow both hands to really grip around the feet as you lift your chest up. Take a deep inhale. So we exhale around. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round for two. And one, lift that chest up. As you exhale this time, we'll bring our hands to our knees and see that the feet are hips distance. Gently crawl the hands back, elbows onto your mat and you'll come all the way down on your back. Draw the heels towards your fingertips. See if you can tickle your heels. That's perfect hips distance. Awesome, nice deep inhale. Ground your feet into your mat as you lift the hips up, gentle bridge pose. You can interlace your hands here, lifting up, breathing up, pressing into your feet. Nice deep inhale, lift that chest for three, for two, and one. Gently lower, releasing the hands 
vertebrae by vertebrae, your spine comes back down to your mat. Nice. Awesome. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a gentle rock side to side, opening up your spine. Awesome. And you'll bring your hands to your feet, drawing your knees towards your chest and happy baby as you round your lower spine back down to your mat, just awakening yourself, allowing the whole spine to be released into your mat, toes nice and open. Awesome. Now give yourself three to five rolls on your back body. And then we'll release all the way into our Shavasana. Hands nice and open, body completely relaxed as you release fully into your Shavasana pose. Breathe and allow these few moments of melody to bring you to a place of happiness and harmony. On your next inhale, gently bring some movement to your fingertips. On your next exhale, put a wiggle in your toes. As you inhale, reach your hands up and over your body. As you exhale, gently bring yourself to a comfortable seated position where your spine can be upright and aligned. Allow your eyes to be settled, gently closed hands to heart center as you bow your chin to your chest in gratitude for your practice today. Gently awaken to the fact that you just completed the energizing beginner's yoga flow. Namaste.